Hey, it's Tuesday, it's time for Pick of the Week. I'm Lady Lex UK and this is my selection from the week ending the 31st of May. Uh, you've all been sending me some amazing stuff. Um, unfortunately, the notification bug is still in place despite updates. And um, with the amount of notifications that I get, plus the fact that uh, uh, I had a couple of days where I wasn't playing Dreams, um, it's got a bit overwhelming and I can't really sort through uh, the notifications successfully so I do apologize for anybody who sent me something uh, this week um, I have tried to play as many things as possible so let's get on uh, start off with the elements um, now we've seen this this is a, a triceratops model but it was only a head before and now it is a full body and uh, it's possessable so not only is it a great sculpture, but it's also an amazing possessable creature with sound effects and animations. Isn't this the most amazing thing? I absolutely love this. It's so realistic. It's got so many wonderful animations on it. Whoops. Yeah, look, he's trying to dig up roots. This is just amazing. I, I think this is a, a real successful sculpt, character sculpt. Really fantastic. Um, it'd be nice to see lots and lots of dinosaurs in uh, the Dream Universe for people to use. This is great, and it's totally remixable. So if you want to go in there, um, put a rider on that. Oh, can you imagine? Um, a really great um, a game where, where everybody's riding around on on, um, on Triceratopses. And you can recolour it to make it sort of an alien Triceratops. It's all sorts of things you can do with this. It is fantastic. Well done, Pulse Cage. Um, it's, it's fantastic. Great result. Right, here we have um, Arabesque Entrance Terrace by Jar Javron. Uh, this is an Arabian-style piece. Now, if you've seen my um, asset kits of the month uh there i think there was a whole uh selection of uh arab style pieces in a kit um uh, this is lovely i i really like this this uh material blowing in the wind i think that looks very good very nice indeed so check out um more pieces in this style so if you want to make a, a whole set by george avron uh, there's a few so if we can go into his uh, kit see so you'll see there's got I've got a lot there and there is his uh, arabesque asset kit which I believe uh, I put in my collection um, so look at my collection uh, in the dreamiverse of asset kits of May uh, and you'll find it in there right swamp monster next peppy flash 15 um, it's three it's, it's actually the same uh, creature, I believe. Now, he's walking on his own, which is a bit weird. But I can possess him. And I can do it myself. So he's got flashing eyes and moving hands. And he can jump and he growls and stuff. So it's interesting to see how colouring and painting can make something look completely different. So there's three styles of it there. But I love the way that it walks. I think the, the crouched walk is, is really successful here. And I like to put the growls and everything on it. So that's fun. Right. Garden Space by Shani Bums. Right. I'm sorry. That's a silly name. Right. A garden farm plot. There are some issues with the hover logic, but at the moment I cannot dedicate the time to finish smoothing out the details. Right. What it is, is um, some sort of survival farming game. So you can plant your crop like this. And then you plant seeds and then these things grow. But this, this is just beautifully done. I, I, I'm really impressed with how this is working. And then you've got the flowers come out. And then the flowers drop off. And then the strawberries grow. It's so lovely. Look at this. 
and then you can harvest the strawberries. And there we go, I've got four strawberries. Eight strawberries. And I can plant some more. It is very well done. Um, it tells you how long these things are going to be before they're ready, which is great. I don't know what happens if you leave them. Presumably, they just they don't rot, do they? They might do. Maybe if you leave them, they'll rot. But we'll have uh, have a look at that. So that's a really nice um, little demo there, and it's remixable, so you can use this and see how it's been done. So let's just go quickly in. Um, so we've got really hard to say isn't it um lots and lots of uh microchips so it's a really involved um little process this people there we go that's the tilled mound and what's this one this one is grow timer sprout that's the seeds and uh, this is growing, growing the plant. I can't see the plant somewhere. The plant will be somewhere. I don't know where the plants are. Perhaps if we turn all the invisible stuff on. There we go. Now we see it. There it is. There is it. It's in, in the entirety. So it's a, it's a little complicated, but once you've uh, gone in and had a look at that, you could uh, change these to potatoes or um, a different type of fruit cucumbers or something be interesting to see uh, what that would look like so yeah you can make your own gardening game from uh, from looking at how this has been made so thank you for releasing that as remixable really good next thing is Goliath by Ramki Banazuka uh, I like the look of this it's a uh, it's sort of a retro star robot. All rusty. Look at that. I think that's very good. It has no animations attached. Um, but you could add your own. But I think it is really cool. I love the style of it. And finally we have a stone bench of the great integrity. Um something they built but the these stone benches are really good i i think that is a nice stylish stone bench very useful if you're making um a, a churchyard or something uh, this sort of thing um in a in a church for people to sit on you could even um just change the coloring of that a bit and make that into a wooden bench and put that inside a church or you can remove all the iconography and, uh, and then you've got a bench that you can use for all sorts of things. You could even turn that into uh, a desk or something. There's ways around these things. This is a very, very nicely made thing. I like nicely made things that people can use. So there we go. Those were the elements. Right, let's get on to the art and set design now. The Reef. Salty Seamen. Um... It's nice to see some more um, undersea levels. This is really good. Um, I love the, to see the the, the, the sea. It, it's spoiled a little bit by the camera going over there. If the camera didn't go over to the area where you could see the edge, I think it would have been a bit more successful. And it's a bit jerky, this camera. I'm not doing this, by the way. This is, uh, this is a programmed camera move by the creator try and make it look realistic or something I'm not quite sure why um, I can hold down R1 um, and then it, it just stops <laughs> hold down R1 for night there we are um, not successful that I, I think we need some bioluminescent fish or something um, so when you get it into night mode you can still see through the gloom that would be nice some of these jellyfish should glow I think that would be better um and watch that edge but it's so colorful and so nice and, and you really get the sense of the sea being above you which is 
which is nice. Um, here's some artwork. This is Susie Owl's paint. Susie's Owl painting, not Susie Susie Owl. Susie Susie's Owl painting by Marco Sivat. So I don't know if Marco Sivat is Susie. I don't know. Um, it's created for a horror animation. Um, I like the fact it's signed. There we go. It's a really nice painting of an owl. So you want a painting of an owl on your wall? Here's one. I think it's been done with paint strokes. It's really difficult, if damn near impossible, to get paint onto a flat surface completely flat. You're always going to get a little bit of tuft, which in this case is probably fine. But you do get nice crisp edges when you use the paint as opposed to this, the spray paints. But it's, 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 a, it's a, a style choice of what you do. Combination of the two, I think, is what's going on here. I think they've spray painted the background and then painted over the top with the owl. It's very nice. Uh, Gone Fishing by Dread Eye. Uh, so it's all very sea like, apart from the bird. Um, uh, it has a, shall we say, unique. Company name icon thing at the beginning. <laughs> right, so here we have an animation inspired by a Martin Nibelong bit of artwork. And uh, it's cool. I love it. You've really got a sense that you're at the seaside, you've got the boats, the guys fishing. The water moving, I think it was cool. It's very nice. Inspired by a Martin Nibelong ocean tutorial. So, um, Martin's got a really good. Um, so, in, in Dreamers, he is Martini TYDK, and he has a channel called Martin Nibelong, which presumably is his name. Uh, and um, he shows you how to do um, mostly landscape type things, so water, land, trees, that sort of thing. So uh, check those out. Uh, go to Dream School, uh, just type Martin Nibelong in and all the tutorials that we've uh, we found it will be in there. Um, or go to his YouTube channel, you can find that through uh, any of the uh, videos that are linked. So there we go. Right, movies now. You sent me a lot of movies this week. Um, it was quite interesting. Normally I get a lot of games and not many movies, but I got quite a few little shorts this week. Uh, most of them I couldn't show you because of the use of uh, copyright sounds, but um, never mind. Anyway, uh, here's Elfiou's Bon Appetit. Uh, entered into the Into the Woods game jam and got a top 25% place and an MM pick. So, uh, well done. Here we go. So, what's in the woods? I don't like to show the whole of anybody's a little animated short because it doesn't give you the incentive to go into the Dreamiverse and have a look for it yourself. So, 
Uh, if you want to see the rest of that, go um, find the collection. I will put a link in the description. And, uh, and then you can play the whole thing and find out what did this little boy find in the woods. Right, next one. Uh, black and white. This got a top ten place. Um, by Amenjo One. Episode two of my animation series. I don't think I've seen an episode one actually. So um, anyway, here we go. on so find out does he get the apple um check that one out in dreamverse sum it up it's important it's that you show some love for the people that make things in the dreamverse that you like um because without thumbs up uh, they won't know that people liked it and when people do and they don't they just don't thumb it up they play it they think that was cool and then don't thumb it up remember thumb up everything that you like um, it really helps creators. They know what to uh, make and what not to make. Right, games next then. Our first game is Playground Rules Bulldog. Last Man Standing by The Stalking Dread. Um, this was the winner of the Community Jam, Imaginary Sports. Wow. Well done. Um, it's only got 15 thumbs up. That is unbelievable. There's something seriously wrong with that. It's won a community jam and it's only got 15 thumbs up. That 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 can't possibly be right. That's that's awful. Anyway, Playground Rules Bulldog. Let's play. I like what I like about this is um, it's not easy to do AI. And this AI works really well. So we've got to get across the other side of the playground. Okay, that'll be beaten up. There we go. Whoa. Oh, oh no! Ow. 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 I'm telling. There we go. I'm a ninja. Whoa. Oh no, he's a big guy. Oh. I don't want to get involved in him. A uh -oh. mouse could beat you up by poking you in the head. Oh, you want some, do oh, you? No. Oh no! Ow! Ow. Ow. Yeah, I'm not ah. with that. What's that, mate? You losing your ball? You won't make another round. There we go. That's all you got to do, run back, backwards You're and forwards. Down, while they taunt you and try to oh, punch you in the face. Oh, oh, God, you can punch him back. He punches Debbie Cooper. <laughs> oh, God, I'll have you. There we are. I'm doing all right, I think. Put down the middle. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you. Yeah, just there we are. Oh, well, there we are. Don't cry, babe. No. Oh. Kick you in the face, I will. And that's it. That's basically it. That's as simple as the game gets. Um, yeah, there we are. Our next game is called Lost Draw by El Paso. Um, we've seen this character before. Um, it was in a uh, platforming game. Here's another platforming game featuring this character. I don't think it's done by the same person. Um, but it's got a really interesting concept to this. So you get asked questions as you go along, which reveals part of the set. Now, there is some spelling that needs to be sorted out. I'm a bit of a funny one when it comes to spelling. I really don't like it when I see um, 
spelling mistakes in games especially when there's lots of them so we've got a choice of a block or a tree we'll go with a block and we get a block uh, we want a moving platform next and some stairs and another bridge slide if you get it wrong you have to go back to the beginning a boat a ladder so it, it's a really interesting concept um, and with the black and white and everything makes it look really unique is fun. Uh, another tree. And there we are. We've made it to the paper. Level complete. Continue. Level two. Now that says tree stamp. It should say tree stump. Wind or tree trunk? I think a tree trunk. Yes. Another tree trunk or dock. Oh, yep, dock. There we go. Crocodile or fish? I think crocodiles. We'll probably step on them. Oh. There they are. Ha ha ha. Oh no! I fell in. Oh, oh, his tail moves. That's why I fell in. Mm. Oh no, I jumped too early. One last go. I'm cross. Right, air mattress or a bucket? Air mattress? You must be crazy. You saw the crocodile. Oh no. Uh, right, bucket then. Right, you can use it as a boat, it says. Where is it? Oh, gold. Alright, we're in the bucket. Wings or chainsaw? Chainsaw. Okay. Helicopter or paper boat? Let's go with a paper boat. Paper and water? Oh, I am paper! Oh, well, there we are. <laughs> I think it's a cool idea. I like it. It's only got 28 thumbs up. It's a travesty. Rail Rider. Winner of the Community Jam Imaginary Sports. Now, this is a bit weird then. This is a bit weird. Winner of the... Did they have a tie? Or is every single entry a winner? Oh, this is weird. Isn't this weird? Why have they all got winner's stamps on it? Have they changed the way that it, this works? This is very odd. Okay. Rail Rider by Roblox2468 and Ale Alexecuted2. Take part in the ultimate mix of acrobatics, danger and sports. Can you get a high score in Rail Rider? A thrilling cross between infinite runners and skateboarding. Um, now, I'm rubbish at this. I'm sure you're all thinking, what games is she actually good at? She says she's rubbish at all of them. She's rubbish at racing games, she's rubbish at platformers. Can she actually play games? Right, jump. 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 Oh, the rail ran out. 
There we go. See what I mean? I'm not very good at this. <laughs> hmm. Let's try again. Let's just worry about the rails being long enough. Right, so that's fine. Oh, where was I supposed to be? I was supposed to be on the left. Oh, God. Okay, let's try again. Oh, no. God. This is so hard. Hard game. Let's go. Um, it's random as well, so it's not as if I can learn it. Oh, we're doing well. Oh no! I ran out and I couldn't get across because of the stop sign. There we go. That was good. 5822. Beat my previous best of 200. Oh, yes. Longest time alive. Yeah. I did all right this time. Very nice. Exit and publish score. I won't be anywhere on there. There we go. Longest time alive. Oh, I'm at number 17. That's unbelievable. Highest score. Number 16. Right, go in there and try and beat me. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will be. Rail Rider, pretty good game. I've seen things like that before. Um, but it's very well executed. Right, Bloodborne Cart. Now, I don't normally show stuff that is IP. However, Bloodborne Cart is a uh, game that uh, has been muted and uh, people have been waiting for it for a while. Apparently, it is in production. It is going to be coming out. But... Uh, somebody decided they're not going to wait. They'll make it in dreams. And um, as racing games go, this is pretty novel because you are in a horse cart. I'm going to turn the music off because um, the music is from Bloodborne. So I will just turn that off so I don't get into trouble. I love the fact. Whoa! Oh no. Back up. <laughs> the checkpoints. I love the way it says checkpoint and does that thing. That I think it's, there's some really nice style style ideas in here. Um, and the the surroundings, the uh, the buildings and everything look amazing. Never mind the cart these fantastic buildings and it's very moody and I don't know I don't I don't know Bloodborne is it about vampires it sounds like it ought to be um certainly got that sort of vibe sort of like Transylvania racing with with horses I lost the other riders quite a long time ago. But I think we'll catch them up as we lap them. Um, last time I did it, it uh, I lapped them and uh, got all caught up in one. There we go. I just want to head somewhere. It's a great tunnel, I think it's a great tunnel. So I think you need to sort out the um, the competitors that are racing with you because you lose them really early on and it'd be better if they were with you a little bit longer. Um, but the, the look of this is really great and um, I really appreciate having something different other than just cars to race around in. Anyway, there we go. Bloodborne cart, well done, Holt 3037. But this, I don't understand this. They can't all be winners. Right, Island Survival by Splash Farts. Honestly, the names you people. Simple survival sim with no end game. This is a work in progress, so more features, craftables, upgrades, etc, etc. Added rabbits and a spear. 
Uh, do I want to reset progress? Actually, no, I don't, because I've been playing it for a while. Um, okay, so um, this is my base. I've got an axe, and I've got a pick. Um, so with my axe, I can go chop down trees. Um, if I can remember the buttons. There we go, circle. There we go. So um, if I do that, then I get wood and leaves and sticks. And if I use my pick, I can use that on these stones. And I get rocks and flint. And I have a crafting menu. At the moment, I can only make an axe or a pick. Um, of which I've made my axe and my pick already so I don't know um, when it starts moving on so that I can get other things let's just go for anything I've got some um, I can eat a carrot that sorts out my hunger level at the top there and there we go I mean I'm not quite sure it says it's a work in progress so it's a bit hard to say um, how much is is actually here so here's some berries I can collect there we go Don't go in the water, it'll kill you. <laughs> and trees grow, look, as you, see, you can see. If you've knocked one down, they grow over time. So you've always got something to uh, knock down. Okay, there we are. I appear to have lost everything by dying. Look at that. I'm back to day one. Got to start again from the beginning. So there we go. Uh, Splash Farts, Island Survival. Uh, it's nice to see strategy games in dreams. Right. Right turn left. Full collection. This is no ordinary mage. You must learn from your mistakes in order to escape from the cube. Why Swecker with music by Indica Knight. Right. Now this is a memory game. You have to remember where you've been. So there's 50 rooms. We don't need a video tutorial because it's pretty self-explanatory. Right. Okay, so we're in the first room. We go forward. And that was correct. So we'll try forward again. That was correct. We try forward again. That was wrong. So it's forward. Forward, let's try left. That's good. Would we left again? Oh, so it's forward, forward, left, left. Let's try right. No. So forward, forward, left, left, forward. Oh, right. Forward, forward, left, left, forward. No. Forward, forward, left, left. Was it forward again? Forward, okay, right. All right, forward, forward, left, left, forward, right, forward. Oh, forward, forward, left, left, right. Oh no, I've lost it now. Um, well, right, shall we? Oh my goodness. Um Okay. Forward. Forward. Left. Left. Forward. Right. Forward. Left. No. Forward. Forward. Left. Left. 
right forward go forward forward left left forward right forward right left no forward forward left left forward right forward right right left oh there's a man there oh gosh um Forward, forward, left, left, forward, right. Oh no, I've lost it. Forward, right, right, left, forward, right, forward, left. Oh no, gosh. Oh, forward. Okay, that's enough. You get the gist of it. Um, it's it's sort of like Simon, but with a maze. Quite good. Quite a good idea. All right, next one. Chill borders. Yeah, there's something seriously wrong. Everybody says they're a winner. But you can't be right. All right, chill borders by spiders. Race against the clock in this atmospheric and chill snowboarding sim. Now, there is a game that I've got on my Kindle, which is very similar to this, uh, but this is really well done. Chill borders. Tutorial. So you've got to avoid the red marks. You can double jump over them. L2 to sort of get into the ground. We're into the race stage now. Right, off we go. Race started. Gold get get somewhere. I 
But anyway, there we go. There's the game. Chill borders. Racing against the clock. I think it's really cool. Right. Oh, I missed one there. Skeet jumping. Uh, the thrill of the downhill, the crunch of the snow, the smell of the cordite. Um, this is crazy. This is um, basically K pigeon shooting with ski jumpers. Don't ask. Just play. Don't worry about it too much. Though some people might find this distasteful. Oh no, I missed both of them. Disaster. Yes, I missed them. Okay, let's try again. Right, roll to restart. It's a bit it's a bit wintry this, really, for, for a summer game. I got him. Oh no good at shooting these guys. I got two of them. Right, one last go. Time? Hey! <laughs> the music's cool as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Now we have a store heist. The Ready Store Heist by Gentleman Tom. A short level of a larger game. Find your way into the store and get out with the cash. We had a heist game on here before. Um, I think a lot of people have watched... Uh, played some of these heist games. I used to play heist games. So what we're going to do is get into the store and steal the money. The getaway driver is waiting. Get the safe open and he'll meet you round the back. Stolen everything we can steal in here. 
head up and see how our computer is doing. 77 seconds left. Oh, God. Oh, it's money. There's the safe. So let's look at the controls then. Okay, so we can interact, we can throw bag. Right, there's a bag. We've now thrown the bag. I don't know. Five seconds. Hmm. We'll open up the fire exit, shall we? Okay. Twenty two seconds left, and then we'll get into the safe. Now, this is the bit where I couldn't quite work out. There we go, there we are. I escaped. That's a cool game, I quite enjoyed that. It's quite got, got got quite exciting. Right. Now then, we're into others now. These are things that are not games, not movies, not art, um, and not elements. And um, we start off with Touch Me Like It Was Yesterday by Kedna and I Require Loops. It is just weird. That's all I can say. I don't even know what this is. Welcome. I'll do my, do my sexy voice now. Would you please take a deep breath? Are you holding your controller gently? I know you want to press all the buttons. I want you to press them. Are you ready? If that was too much for some of you, um, just tell me, I won't do it again. Right, okay. <laughs> so we've got this hand um, and we can press the button so we can do all sorts of things with this hand. Uh, one finger and two fingers and, and suddenly we have two hands and now uh, we can touch the other one and you can do stuff like this so let's get a, 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 a let's get a slapping hand would we get a slapping hand well, there's a slapping hand okay here we go slap and slap <laughs> ooh it's ooh 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 it's suddenly gone it's gone all pink Ooh, hold that hand. 
Stroke that hand. Spread your COVID around the place. Whoa! There we are. Weird. No, that is weird, right? That wasn't just me thinking that's weird. That, that's weird, right? Right, uh, next one is The Hermit by Lidlig. So this is an interactive movie, I think is probably the best. So it's a sort of competition of, of, of a game and a movie. Um, I've got quite a long way through it, so I'm just going to press continue. Um, Are you ready? Yeah. And action. <sighs> All right. Why do you live here? Because society is artificial. Society disconnects us from our roots with nature. Have you ever had a difficult time in your life and you craved for a walk in nature and your problems faded away and disappeared? Even if it was just for a little bit. There is nothing deep about society. Nature is deep. Yeah, I see. Um... Where's it going? This was going so good. Wow, what was that? Hey! Where are you going, man? We're not done yet. Yes, we're done for today. Come back tomorrow. I'm going fishing. Man, what's with this guy? It's okay, man. At least we got something. Yeah, ten seconds. Ten good seconds, man. I didn't expect such a thought-out answer. That was amazing. Whatever. I'll go to the boat and check the footage. This guy's pissing me off. It's fine, man. I'll be down there in a bit. So these two Scandinavian guys, they've, um, they've decided they're going to make a movie... Uh, by interviewing this hermit that just wants to be left alone. And uh, so they've gone gone to his island and... Uh, what? That's from last week. And uh, there we go. So, so it's a sort of a point and click adventure. But majority of it is cutscenes. Majority of it is, is a movie. So I wasn't quite sure whether to put this under games or movies but this guy eats a lot of canned food but uh it's quite well done the 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 uh, voice acting is pretty good the spelling though um if you're watching this the people that made this um uh, check your spelling some of your spelling is is it really awful <laughs> but uh there we are. Right, I don't know what we've got to do now. I think we've got to go and find the guy fishing. This is this is our boat, I think. This is what we came on. There, yeah, that's our boat. I, th I have a feeling this is going to turn into some sort of horror thing. Um... But it's hard to say at the moment because at the moment it's just setting it up. So they've got to the island, they've tried to interview the guy and he's being a little bit more aloof than they were hoping. And now he's disappeared. And I'm not sure where he's gone or where, whether we've got to find him or what we've got to do now, really. Anyway, there we go. That's the hermit. Check it out because there's a there's a whole uh, movie thing at the beginning which is really good. So you are Kent Nordvik, and you've got to make a documentary about hermit. Um, there we go. There was my pick of the week for this week. Hope you enjoyed those selections. Um, as always, if you've got something that you want to send me, you can send it to me using the send to link. Do not put uh, a link in the comments. Um, I try to play as many of these as I can. Obviously, with the broken notification feed, um, it makes it a little bit more awkward, but uh, I do my best. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in your dreams.